Hey everyone! If you've never been here before, my name is Sarah. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, first of all, thank you. And you may notice that my room looks a little bit different. Um, I did move. I will be filming an apartment tour eventually once I feel like I'm all settled in and when my walls aren't so bare because we all know that I love having my artwork all over the place. But um, speaking of artwork, this video is something I've never done before. It was requested for me to do this and I didn't know this was a trend but I think it's pretty cool. So today I'm going to be doing a tattoo tour. Apparently this is like a trendy thing that people are doing on TikTok and on YouTube and they show their tattoos and I guess give the meanings of them. I'm kind of an asshole and I did no research. I haven't watched a single one so we're just gonna wing it and I'm going to give you a tour of my body. Yeah, fuck it, that's what we're going with. All right, so I was gonna do chronological order, but I honestly don't remember the order of all of them, but I do remember which one was my first one because it's very hard to forget. So my first tattoo was traumatizing. Um, I got a tattoo on my ankle, which to this day, out of all the tattoos I have, is still by far the most painful spot I've ever been tattooed. I have both ankles done at this point, so it wasn't just like, oh, it was the first one, it was a fluke, it was like really bad. No, my ankles are the worst. If you don't have tattoos and people tell you that they don't hurt, they're lying, okay? It's like a needle stabbing you repeatedly. It feels like a knife is like scraping your skin off. It fucking hurts. It's worth it, but it fucking hurts. So the first one, I was like, in so much pain, my whole body was sweating, and it literally came out like shit. My first tattoo here, ew, my socks are so dirty. Okay, don't mind my sock mark, but how, how do I, okay, this is my, <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, we're gonna try from different angle, hold on. So this is my first tattoo, it's, this is really hard, but I don't want to move the phone and then have to put it back. So I'm, we're 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 working with this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. This is my first tattoo. Basically, what happened was um, it got like infected, kind of. So I had a bunch of different people tell me a bunch of different things. I was taking perfectly good care of it. I've had a lot of tattoos since then and I've taken care of them in the same way and I've never had an issue. Basically, the people that were at the tattoo shop told me that I was allergic to red ink and that's why it was bubbling and fucking scabbing and why the ink didn't stay. So you may have noticed it was like kind of white in the middle, but then other people were like, no, that guy just tattooed you way too hard and he fucked up your skin. I think that's what happened. Um, it was really painful. It did not heal well. It doesn't look good, but to be honest, I'm way too scared to like go over it. I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, it's not horrible. It's just, it, it looks weird because it looks faded. It's just like kind of poorly done. It is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted like a little heart, um, nothing exciting, but you can see the middle. <laughs> this is the most awkward thing I've done on the internet. The middle is kind of like faded. That's why. While I'm here and doing gymnastics, I might as well just show you the other ankle. So this guy, I actually have his paw print on my other ankle. And the way I got that was, no. He doesn't like the spotlight. Basically what I did was I took his paw and I put it in ink and then I took a piece of paper and I was hoping that I could just step, have his foot and like step on it, but he kept dragging it away and it just was really bad. So then he walked all over my white tile floor and I took a picture of it and then I brought in the piece of paper and I was like, here's the size and here's a perfect paw print. Can we match it up? And she did. So that is what I have here. It is his exact paw print. I think it's cute. Okay, so now that we've covered the ankles, we do not have to go below the waist again. I don't have any other tattoos on my legs, feet, anything. Um, eventually, maybe that'll be something that I do, but for now I'm mostly focused on this area. Okay, the next tattoo is gonna be this one here. It is two infinity signs. It's actually from the show Revenge, if you've ever seen it. It's like the daughter and the dad do it and they say, I love you infinity times infinity. And I thought it was really cute. And I told my mom that we should get matching tattoos and then she chickened out. So I just have it by myself. 
The next ones are going to be my wrist tattoos. I actually got these two together on the same day. So this is a sunflower. And this one just says XO. It is not from The Weeknd, which is something people always ask me. They're like, oh, XO, like The Weeknd, like his album. So I firmly believe that tattoos do not have to have meaning. You can just get them for whatever the fuck reason that you want. These two specifically do kind of have like meanings to me that are just like something in my life that's happened that like made me feel a certain way that relate to these, but they're not anything that would be like of interest to anybody. Same with um, this one right here, which is just an arrow, which is honestly kind of boring. I wish it was a little bit more detailed or something. Like I think I might at some point revisit that, but yeah, so we have the arrow here and the XO on this side and we got the sunflower here. And then on this one, it says, P.S. I love you. It is from the movie, but that's not why I got it. Back when I was like 15, 16 years old, I had this boyfriend and I was like totally in love with him, you know, like first love, first, you know, everything. And that's when the movie P.S. I love you came out. And I love that movie and it makes me cry literally start to finish. And I was just like, oh, this is the cutest thing. Like he signs every letter with P.S. I love you. So there was a period of time where my boyfriend was writing me letters and writing P.S. I love you at the end of them. So a couple years ago, he actually passed away and I got it tattooed on my arm in his handwriting. So um, that one is like probably my most like emotionally charged, like special tattoo. Moving on to the torso area. This is probably, I think this is the second tattoo I ever got. And it says only the good die young, like the Billy Joel song. And then another song title uh, on my under boob, I have, um, God is a Woman, which is an Ariana Grande song. It's not just because I'm like, oh my God, it's such a good song. Like when I listened to it, I was just like, fuck yes, God is a woman. So that's kind of like my little feminist tattoo. Okay, then we have my three giraffes. They do not have any meaning. There's not a reason why there's three. I just really love giraffes and I thought it would be cute to get three of them. Um, but funny story, I actually got this tattoo in South Africa. My friend Matt invited me to go to South Africa and one of his selling points um, was that we could go swimming with sharks. And I was like, did you want me to go on this trip? Or I would literally fucking never do that. Like, why would I go swimming with them? They're fucking terrifying. If you like sharks, that's cool. I'm not fucking with them, okay? I don't even fuck with spiders. You think I'm fucking with sharks? Absolutely not. So he went by himself and I went to get a tattoo. Don't worry, I did my research first. The place was cool. Um, the woman who tattooed me was fucking awesome. Like I love her, I still follow her on Instagram. And yeah, so I have my three little giraffes and a fun story. All right, so this is probably, this is my biggest piece. This took the longest. Um, this is my fortune teller. I named her Mina. She is holding a crystal ball. She's not a real person. Everyone asks that. She, I mean, if she is, my tattoo artist knows her. I don't. I literally just said I want a woman who's holding crystal ball like a fortune teller and he drew her for me. Um, there is like smoke. I don't know if you can like tell what that is over the phone, but there's like smoke coming up. This was the first bigger piece that I did and it actually wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to hurt way worse. Um, this was one of the less painful ones. Again, all tattoos are very painful, but it actually went really well. So like I said, she's not a real person. The thing with this one is I constantly get asked either who she is or is that you? Or the one that's really weird that I get a lot is, is that your mom? Why the fuck would I have my mom tattooed on me like that? That's so weird. <laughs> Why would I have myself tattooed on me? But yeah, I get that a lot, especially like guys at the bar that are like, oh, nice tattoo. I bet I could guess who it is. And I'm like, mm, bet you can't. And then this is probably my favorite section, which is why I saved it for last. Um, is that last? Did I do everything? Yeah. So first we've got a sugar skull alien. This isn't like something I just made up. I asked my tattoo artist, I was like, can you make an alien, but like a sugar skull? Um, and can you add in like the Deathly Hallows symbol? So that's like a Harry Potter reference if anyone likes Harry Potter. Um, she like fully like designed this herself. And then I asked her to make it a galaxy background. So that's why it's all kind of like watercolory looking. I'm fucking in love with this tattoo. I love the colors. I just, it's so cute. And then I got this little witch hat and broom. This was so painful. I thought I was gonna die. 
but yeah that one's really pretty this is done by somebody else actually and then this is done by the same girl from who did this and this is also a harry potter thing it is a thestral and buckbeak so the thestrals are those little things that pull the cart that you can only see if someone's died in harry potter and then buckbeak you guys know from prisoner of azkaban and then last but not least we've got this little ghost um i named him chester the heckin ghost and i really just got him because i love halloween halloween's actually my birthday so i got my little ghosty i do have some ideas for like here and the rest of my arm but um you know your girl is broke okay which is why you guys need to subscribe so i can start making money on here you can send me money on cash app if you want to see me with more tattoos but i'm not gonna beg and yeah that is all of them uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is all 14 of my tattoos. I hope that I did a good job at this. It feels kind of weird to just be like, here's my tattoo, and it means nothing. I just thought it was cute. But I don't know, hopefully you guys like them. And if you like my tattoos, and you want to know who my artists are, and you live in New Jersey, please um, comment. I will link their Instagrams. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tattoo tour. I felt like I didn't really know what I was doing, but I hope you got to know me a little bit better based on my tattoos. And please let me know what you want to see from me next, and I'll see you guys soon.